Hey, beautiful souls, beautiful sunshine here with the R Holistic Killer, aka Sonya B. So let me give you this quick prophetic message that I received last night. So anyway, with all that being said, uh, the quick, I actually, there are five. So one, I heard um, like somebody saying, uh, check, do a sweep on each floor. I don't know what that's all about. <laughs> I don't know if that has something to do with military. I don't know if that has something to do with, you know, the ATF team, if, if I'm saying that right. Yeah. Anyway, SWAT team, I don't know. So I don't know who that message may be applying for. Maybe somebody clearing the building. I don't know. But I just remember hearing somebody say, uh, sweep each and every floor. So I don't know if maybe something happened, maybe a manhunt. I don't know. But I'm just giving you guys a heads up because if this is a situation like let's just say um what spirit is bringing to my attention if it's a situation pertaining to like an office building or whatever the case may be so that way you know you kind of don't get caught off guard or even if it's like an apartment building is what's coming up as well too so be mindful of that as well too anyway so the second message that i received was and, and i'm only giving you this information because it's i guess it's meant to warn you so you don't get kind of caught off guard if you should see something happening or taking place oh god look at that moon so orange um if you should see something actually taking place so you don't get caught off guard anyway so i actually in dream number two was i heard somebody saying that it was as if somebody was telling me in a you see it half of it, it as, excuse me it's as if somebody was telling me in a dream like they was communicating with me in a dream and letting me know like somebody's and uh, I feel like somebody's in my room, in other words, like somebody, they was letting me know that they feel a presence in their room, in other words, so it's not a physical person. I got the feeling of they were sensing that there's an energy in their room. Now, what type of energy? I don't know because it <clears throat> could be a situation that is different for everybody. You know, somebody could be experiencing, uh, you see it? Um, somebody could be experiencing, oh y'all, I wish y'all could see this moon. <laughs> Maybe if I get a little further, I'll try to turn it around real quick so you can see it. Anyway, we'll get my door to turn around. But anyway, um, so with that being said, uh, just be mindful because like I said, it was as if somebody was experiencing that there was a presence in their room. Um, I'm not really sure, but I kind of got the feeling like they weren't really afraid, but they just sensed and they knew. It's almost like being clear sentient. Of, and some of you guys, and I'm hearing spirits say, some of you guys could be tapping into that, you know, clear sentient, you know, where you can feel other energies in other words or feel other people's energy when they're in your presence whether they're even when they're not in your presence you can feel an energy in other words so um let me see oh turn it around real quick let me see real quick y'all okay you can turn it back okay anyway so it is really bright and really red it's actually look like it's turning me red anyway so the third dream was I saw a celebration, a gathering, a party, or however you want to take it. I just know that this was someone who is about to uh, basically, um, it, it was like, I saw like someone carrying a tree and the little tree was like kind of decorated with like gold and silver on the tree. Um, I saw people carrying like these gift bags and so on and so on. They were kind of dressed up for some sort of celebration. So I say all that to say, it was like the party was for someone else but i got the sense of because the party was someone else because the party was for someone else it's almost like they too was also receiving a blessing should i say a blessing um i mean a multitude of blessings when i say a multitude i mean a multitude of blessings because in this dream it's almost like I could see this person racking up spiritually um, the blessings that was coming to them. They wasn't expecting it. They just started receiving it, should I say. So I say that to say, as I was writing this dream down in, in the morning time, as I was writing it down, it's like I had to turn on my flashlight in order, my flash, excuse me, my flashlight on the phone. So I had to turn my flashlight on so that I could see what I was writing as I was jotting it down. And then my flashlight, it doesn't normally do this, but my flashlight, I see it wrong place <laughs> but my flashlight had actually went out so that was just letting me know that um and it did it not only once but it did it twice so spirit was just confirming to me it's like some of you guys have really been going through some shit not saying that some of us have it but some of us seem like it may have been weighing on our mental psyche and you know just messing with us you know to the point of 
you know, messing with certain people to the point of just feeling like, oh my God, like what is happening right now? Um, I do know that, like I said before in a prior message that some people are experiencing different timelines, should I say? And what I'm hearing spirit say is almost like you had to revisit a different timeline in order to heal that timeline so that you can move forward and not carry that old timeline into your new timeline, if that makes sense. So anyway, um, turn it this way a little bit. So anyway, so with all that being said, um, that's what, what was happening. So like I said, there could be a situation if somebody was really going through something, you know, uh, mentally not really understanding it and so on and so on, but it's about collapsing those old timelines. So anyway, so just know that somebody's gonna be paid double fold for all that they have went through. And I lied to you not, like I said, when I said that the uh, camera had flat, uh, the camera had, excuse me, the flash had, the flash light on the camera had went out twice. And and that was just spirit letting me know um, because when it went out the first time, I kind of like dismissed it a little bit. But when it went out the second time, I basically said, oh, okay. It was like spirit was telling me like, this is like, you will be paid double for your troubles is what I was hearing. So this last message, I'm sorry, it's not the last message. So this fourth message was, I don't know what exactly this was about, and unless spirit confirms it to me, but something about, it. this has something to do with like going to an Asian restaurant. I don't know why, but for some particular reason in this dream, it's like I was being divinely guided to go to this particular Asian restaurant and order this specific meal, and it was, shrimp fried rice y'all <laughs> which is so funny because i told the kids yesterday we had some leftover rice after eating um chickpea masala or whatever the case may be so i said you know we're gonna use the rest of this rice to make some um shrimp fried rice or whatever so i don't know who needs to hear that but spirit just wouldn't just be giving me that message just to be giving it to me so obviously there's some sort of significance there's some sort of symbolism and for whatever reason but specifically eating that type of dish I don't know what it's supposed to mean but just eating it obviously is going to give and bring some sort of clarity is what I'm hearing I don't know how but you know sometimes you just got to move when God says to move or do things how God says to do it if God says eat this you know it's, it's kind of like you got to follow orders in order to kind of get your next steps almost like a scavenger hunt as I told you guys before that's kind of like what this journey is about so anyway so this fifth message came in a sense of I just want you guys to know that there are some divine connections that are happening behind the scene. I see that some people are connecting with each other spiritually in a sense. Um, and I say that to say because it's almost like if you didn't really express your feelings and your emotions before in regards to a relationship, I saw that, you know, whether this is being done physically or whether this is being done spiritually. Come on. Whether this is being done spiritually, I saw that... Um, you know, there were people communicating with each other behind the scenes, basically just letting them know how they feel, expressing their, expressing their love for them, expressing their love for them, and just really expressing, um, you know, how much they care, and, 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 and whether this is being done spiritually, or whether this is being done physically, there is going to be a point where, someone may kind of get a little confused by what's happening and the reason why I say that is because you know it was a sense of a little bit of confusion like somebody expressed and said that they love them and they didn't necessarily know how to respond because they didn't know exactly what was happening to them at that particular moment um what was happening to them at that particular moment so in other words it's almost like it was kind of catching them off guard so um yeah so anyway but those are all the messages let me make sure i've said everything yeah so i just saw that there was a little bit of confusion because they was just they wasn't thank you spirit there was a little bit of confusion because the other okay so let's just say it came in the form of a male telling a female that he loves her and i can hear this happening telepathically so in other words i knew what he was thinking even though I didn't hear him saying it but I knew what he was thinking and it's like the female was a little hesitant and make no mistake these roles can be reversed as well too so um because it just all depends on the energy that you carry or whatever whether you know the individual is a masculine or a feminine so it doesn't matter what archetype I'm talking about because it can go either which way but 
I'm just giving you an example. So with all that being said, so the female was a little uh, hesitant. She wanted to say, I love you back. And it's almost like she's, it's almost like she's evolving in a sense to say, I love you back. Because I guess what I'm hearing spirits say is like, maybe they never really knew what love was before, but after going through their, uh, after going through something, you know, very big very i don't want to say catastrophic or just something that's just that really kind of shook their world in a sense like shaking them up and kind of getting them out of the old mindset in other words so in other words like if you were someone who went about saying i love you just to be saying i love you and there was no thoughts feelings or emotions behind it but you just felt the need because somebody said i love you you responded back with i love you but deep down inside there was really no feeling there in the process of saying it so it's almost like this person is kind of getting in touch with their feelings and their emotions in other words so it's like baby steps is what i'm hearing spirit say so anyway, but uh, like I said, they could be a little bit of hesitate, whether, hesitation, whether this is being done spiritually or whether it's being done physically. But just remember, always things usually happen in the spiritual realm first before it manifests down on heaven. And just because I'm explaining it this way, you know, it could happen that way, but the scenarios and situations could be totally different. This is just how God has presented to me so that I can understand it uh, what's taking place to uh, let you guys know. Uh, in order to translate the message but anyway so with all that being said you guys have a beautiful day i got a couple of errands i gotta run so i had to give you this video on the go and uh, i got some stuff that i gotta get done so anyway i wish you all much love much light and i say peace and blessings oh and this is the other thing i want to let you guys know too be mindful because i really feel like there's a lot of energy right now that's feel like it's dealing with mental type in energy and i said because i said in the dream it's like somebody was feeling like there was a presence in a room like a not so much of being afraid, but what I'm hearing spirit say is about facing your fears, in other words. So if you're somebody who kind of feared, you know, uh, a situation, uh, if you feared a situation of, um, you know, whether it be, um, whatever it could be, whatever your fears could be, it's almost like you're being guided to face your fears, in other words. So um, anyway, so with all that being said, um, I wish y'all much love, much light, and I say peace and blessings until next time. Bye.